Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna be, we got something exciting here. We got the AI blade. So these are the grow. We are gonna be installing this 48 inch into our tank. Basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna supplement the lighting. Um, we have already three uh, XR15s on it already. But I see that there's a little bit of shadow everywhere, like underneath uh, some of the coals and stuff like that. And um, this AI blade is supposed to give it some, um, take out some of that shadow and give it a little fill light. So it's not really going to be our main light; it's going to be a filler light. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to do an unboxing on it, and we are going to show you guys um, how to install it, what I think of it. What we're going to do is we're going to do a par reading beforehand, and we're going to do a par reading after also. So. I'll give you a little comparison of what these lights can do. So let's uh, get into it. Okay, let's see what's coming inside the box here. Got a power cable, some bracket that's not we're not going to be using because we are going to be using some um, acrylic bracket from 3D Reefing to install these. These are very nice acrylic uh, brackets made by 3D Reefing and that's going to mount directly onto the XR15s so it's going to give it a really factory look. Looking forward to installing those. Let's slide this light all the way out here. Instruction manuals. Got the power supply here. Thing. Got some weight to it. Feels really sturdy. Yeah, looks good. Got a nice heat sink on it. They don't need any fans, so they just got a passive cooling. Basically, they just um, they just cool off of um, the heat sink here. Got one, two, three, four, five, five different modules here. Yeah. It's Feeling solid, looking good so far, okay? Let's um, start getting these uh, light mounted. First thing to do is we're gonna have to take off the XR15s and we're gonna take it off and install these uh, bracket onto it and we'll get the light mounted. Okay, we're gonna use the Apogee meter here to uh, get a car reading before the light installed. What we're going to do is uh, we are just going to take the reading from So what we got here is um, near the SPS area, we got 160, 155 or so. In the middle of the tank, we got 100, 110, 90 on the right hand side. And then on the glass here, on the far left hand corner here, we got 90 only. And then in the front here, we got 130 and 110. That's because I think a lot more reflection in the middle here. So definitely a lot higher power at their uh, sand area here. So. Alright, the install is all done, so I'm going to give you guys a first impression here. This light is sexy looking. It looks great. And it kind of hides, um, I had some light shield on these uh, XR15 before, but uh, with this being right here, it kind of hides some of that uh, blinding light into your eyes. So it's actually very good. Very high quality acrylic. It's made... Uh, very easy to install. They give you these little tab here uh, that fits in back here. You see that little black tab there? You can actually angle these um, up or down or even the other way. So I kind of have an angle further that way so that um, it takes uh, some of the light off of the glass here because um, I was getting too much light on the sand bed here. So actually by putting those inserts in, it actually gives me 10 less power at the, at the sand bed. 
So after, after all said and done, um, the numbers, here, here are the numbers, you know, they improved quite a bit. So it actually updated, um, I have it set at 30% uh, right now. And as you can see, the power number has jumped significantly like on their SPS area. You're looking at 160 and actually jumped up to 225, 240, but that's actually at a 60% setting, okay? But uh, I'm gonna slowly ramp my way up to it right now. What you're seeing right now is at 30%, I'm gonna slowly make my way up. At 100% settings, we were looking at around 280 all around, 280 on the SPS at the higher level there. That's keeping the uh, XR15 still at 65% at whatever I had it set at. So yeah, I changed some of the light setting on the, um, on the XR15 to, um, I was using AB plus before, now I switched them over to um, LPS and softies, and then uh, it gives it a little more blue color here. Setting up the light on the Mobius app is relatively easy. You just uh, hook it up to Bluetooth. It uses the same app as um, the Radeon XR15, so it was very easy for me to set up because I was using Radeon, Radeon already. Basically, once you get inside, get it all set up, you get your, you get some basic uh, template that you can use. You got your high output growth, go on LPS and soft in. Uh, also, if you got the grow and with the glow, they got a different settings for that also. So I'm just using the high output growth here and um, that way I use my Radeon XR15 for most of the blue light and um, the AI Blaze is going to be a filler and it's going to add more white light and a blanket the whole tank with more lights. Uh, very easy to use, you just uh, adjust your sunrise time and your sunset time I have mine set at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. I've got some nice ramp into it uh, going up and down and moonlight period so play around with it um, if you're if you used the app before it'll be very easy but if it's your first time using the app it does take a little bit of learning but once you get it down it's relatively easy to use let's put on the blue filter here and check out uh, this light combination here I'm really loving the way um, the Radeon lights and mixing with these uh, AI blade really give it a good color pop here on the coils here. I'm really loving it. That baby is growing quite good. Some of the coils are closing up a little bit now because we're getting near the end of the day here for the photo period. This guy is new, um, not a lot of color right now, but hopefully I can get more color out of him yet. There's the Hellfire. SPS are all doing great. Got the Elegant Crow here. And this core is new. Oh, and the gem tank, he's new also. He's doing great in here. This open brain core, I love this guy. He got really good color on him. He doesn't need a lot of light, so that's why he's in there, tucked in in the corner there. Yeah, so overall, I would say this combination, this AI blade, well, well worth it. It's definitely a good upgrade. Took out some of the shadow underneath the coils and uh, it actually really big blanket of light added onto the whole tank here. And they are easy to install. Definitely with these uh, 3D reefing acrylic um, mount here, those are makes it really sleek looking. So I'm gonna put a link down below for you to get some of those if you want if you want to get yourself a set. Uh, we are going to do an update on this in about a one month period to see how I'm still liking the lights and all that kind of good stuff. So if you want to be reminded for that video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Take care.